a Roman empress. I'm also known as Mater Castrorum, which means Mother of the Empire. Some of my interests include literature and philosophy. I also like to accompany my husband on his campaigns against his rivals. As the Roman empress, it is my job to make sure that the kingdom is safe while he is away. I run the, I run the empire when he's away, and I'm very wealthy in everything I do. Some of my best physical attributes are right here. I created a new China Me empire, and it's basically like a wig. It looks like one of those hairstyles that a modern judge would wear in their time. I also had big, brown, beautiful, almond-shaped eyes. I was originally born in Syria, and I am not a Roman player. My husband came to marry me in Syria and brought me back to Rome. I have traveled to Egypt, Byzantium, New York, and Antioch. I think Byzantium is one of my favorite places to go because my husband defeated one of his rivals there. I was also given the, the title Mater Pastorum there. I think the two places that I would not recommend going to is simply because of personal reasons. York I wouldn't go to because my husband died there. Antioch is also where my last surviving son was assassinated. Some of my major accomplishments are um, handling politics when, politics when my husband is away, taking care of personal affairs, and passing laws. I was a very effective ruler, and I was a very supportive wife because I always supported my husband in every kind of campaign he went to. I think I would make a great date because I, I know exactly what I want to do, and I'm very firm in knowing exactly what I want to do, and I take charge of everything. relationship status is currently married to Septimius Severus. He, he was looking for a wife while I was still in Syria, and when he heard that I needed a husband, he came, to, he came and married me and took me back to Rome. If I were an animal, I think I would be a cheetah. Cheetahs are also cats and they used to be worshipped in ancient Egypt. When I died, I was, I was deified and put in a temple and worshipped there. Cheetahs are also very cunning and fast and sneaky and strong. I think I am all of those, especially when they are threats against my kingdom. Some interesting facts about me are my horoscope. Before my husband came to marry me, a fortune teller told me that one day I would marry a king. While he was looking for a wife, he heard of my fortune and he came to marry me. Another interesting fact is that I was a very respected empress and I had a coronation in the Middle East on me. I also ordered the philosopher Philostratus to write the book The Life of Apollonius, and I also had breast cancer when my husband went to some time. I revoked his patience as a virtue, and your well-worth and he waited, so when a painting is enticing, I'm reminded that the icing is inviting, but the diamond lives below where the shining, and timing is beyond me. The outer shell could be blinded, the inside's what I'm into, your dream thoughts and your passion. What motivates you to live? Is that consistent within your actions? If it is, then it's beautiful. A pure heart with consistence. Motivated by chances to realign our own existence. In a minute, I can finish. The bright lights could diminish. My position's an extension of where I'm curving the head. Until the season comes for rain.